Welcome to our podcast session, diving right into the pulse of the North America Manufacturing Corridor, the NAMC. This region, spanned across Texas, Nuevo Leon, and Coahuila, is, um, really something extraordinary. It's uh, like the beating heart of global manufacturing, right? Exactly. And it's, um, not just about numbers, although with nearly $3 trillion in GDP, that's pretty impressive. It's about the rapid growth and cross-border synergy happening across um, Texas's innovation hubs, Monterey's industrial might, and Coahuila's automotive base. Yep. And speaking of growth, did you catch that Texas alone recorded a population gain of over half a million in just one year? That's astounding, right? Absolutely. It's like, like with over 563,000 new residents, Texas is fueling housing booms, labor demand, just an explosion of consumer activity. And when you consider a total corridor population of roughly 38 to 39 million, it's a demographic powerhouse. Mm -hmm. And when you stack that up against, you know, places like Northeast or Great Lakes, this corridor seems to be surging ahead with younger demographics and faster growth. Right. In um, terms of, like, economic influence, it's almost comparable to a top global economy. We're talking GDP figures around $2.6 to $2.7 trillion, kind of like France or the UK. But with a twist, it's experiencing yeah. rapid modern industrial growth. Now, I always wonder, with these massive numbers, how is the NAMC keeping up with the challenges of modern manufacturing demands? Well, that's where the concept of physical AI comes in. Picture this. It's like, um, the fusion of robotics, AI, and advanced manufacturing. In the NAMC, we have semiconductor fabs in Austin, Tesla's Gigafactory energizing production, and aerospace clusters in Houston and San Antonio, collaborating with robotics clusters mm. in Monterey. So it's not just about raw numbers, but also about how these advanced technologies are actively reshaping production processes. Exactly. The corridor is kind of the proving ground for these innovations. Imagine factories where machines um, perceive, decide, and act almost intuitively streamlining processes, and cutting down inefficiencies. Like, what about job displacements and the need for reskilling? That's a good point. And, um, there are definitely concerns. However, the corridor's dynamics are such that the emphasis is on integrating new tech with, you know, human creativity. It's not just automation for its own sake. It's about enhancing productivity and creating whole new industries. Think of the AI data centers here. With, uh, Google's recent investments in DFW adding around $18 billion in 2024. Right. Wow, that's a massive injection of capital. And what about the construction side? I've heard there's significant activity in manufacturing construction as well. Yes, indeed. We're looking at roughly $30 to $40 billion being funneled in annually, driven primarily by sectors like semiconductors, EVS, LNG, and, you guessed it, those AI data centers. It's like an infrastructure renaissance in manufacturing. Mm hmm. And on the housing front, Texas metros alone are pushing permits in the 83 to 88,000 range. That has to be reshaping urban landscapes pretty fast. Definitely, it's reshaping the fabric of the communities here. And that, in turn, feeds into the steady cross border collaboration that defines the NAMC, fostering, um, not just an economic zone but a culturally and technologically vibrant region. I've also noticed the FDI figures are really intriguing. Nuevo Leon drawing over $2 billion in 2024, and even more in early 2025, and Coahuila steadily climbing too. Yes, foreign direct investment is a key driver. With billions of dollars landing in Texas annually and robust investments in the Mexican states, the corridor attracts global capital, fueling further development in manufacturing and tech innovations. Yeah, it's really um, a brilliant example of how regional synergies can drive national, even global, economic trends. Exactly. And what particularly excites me is the deep binational integration. This isn't your typical border region. It's a full-blown engine of North America's 21st century economy. It's like, you know, the conventional region is reimagined with new energy and possibilities. Yet I wonder, do we risk... Um overhyping the role of advanced manufacturing. What about traditional sectors that might be left behind in this tech race? That's a fair critique. 
While the NAMC may lead in sectors like automotive, aerospace, semiconductors, and advanced materials, it's imperative that traditional manufacturing adapts. It's a transformation rather than a replacement. The aim is to merge the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. So it's more about evolution rather than revolution, ensuring the workforce and the industries evolve side by side. Exactly right. And if you think about it, the um, focus on physical AI isn't just about technology taking over, but about smart integration. It's enhancing human capability through robotics that can perform tasks with precision, efficiency and safety, a sort of collaborative revolution. And with such a rapidly growing population and escalating investments in housing, factories and FDI, the corridor is really poised to rival some of the largest global economies. Absolutely. It's um, not just of national importance, but on a global scale. The North America Manufacturing Corridor is setting benchmarks that others will likely follow, making it essentially the aorta of North American industry. Yeah. When you say it's like an aorta, you really paint a picture of a central lifeline pumping vitality throughout the entire region. Exactly. It's like the essential artery that circulates resources, innovation and economic energy across borders. That's what makes this corridor so unrivaled in terms of integration and growth. To wrap it up, the NAMC isn't merely a manufacturing region, but a synergistic tech-enhanced infrastructural epicentre, a real powerhouse that blends tradition with cutting-edge advancements. Precisely. Its rapid, dynamic evolution and its embrace of physical AI are um, reshaping how we think about manufacturing and economic integration globally. This corridor truly symbolises the future of mm. manufacturing. It's been an engaging dive into what seems to be a revolution in the making. Thanks for unpacking the details with such enthusiasm. Anytime. And while there are challenges, the NAMC's blend of demographic growth, industrial might and technological prowess makes it a region that we must keep a close and hopeful eye on. Yep. Here's to hoping that this dynamic region continues to inspire innovation and growth across the continent. Thanks for the insightful discussion. Thanks for joining in. Until next time, keep watching this space. The NAMC is just getting started.